Hello, my name is Ultra, and you might notice that I am on a Wikipedia page. Uh, it is actually the Wikipedia page of uh, Star Wars and Forces of Evil, and we will be talking about Star Wars and Forces of Evil Season 3, Episode 20 and Episode 21. So I was mistaken in my full reaction. If you've watched my full reaction, if you haven't, please do in the links below. I've reacted to both episodes, and it is it was an awesome finale. So. In the first part, we see um, Star trying to trying to be a good acting queen, or you know, queen essentially. But she still needs her her mom's help, and so that's why she went uh, to the magic dimension to find her mom. But also in the magic dimension, you tend to forget who you are, and it wasn't until the like almost the end I mean like really really close to time where uh, a do a six machina appeared which was the um, uh, creation that star uh, created uh, which is the whole like unicorn the perfect unicorn um, and I call it a do a six machina just because you know um, originally when star went in the universe the unicorn was incessant on keeping her there but also maybe I think she is going to kind of like maybe like in the first part she was trying to keep her there because she knows that star needs to kind of learn how things are going or whatever I don't know but they n they never explained it and of course Glossary is uh, is okay you know he he was just acting up and everything so you know that was uh, that was believable at least I mean like uh, you know I was fully expecting him but I thought he would be have a bigger role to play but um, you know he I think he belongs to um, Queen Eclipse now and uh, I definitely think uh, Queen Eclipse is going to uh, release uh, her husband which was essentially the second episode because like for me um, you know episodes make more of an impact if like a lot of things happen and I, 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 I don't say that to just the, f the first part which is the divide part because I really enjoyed the divide part you know we saw Marco's uh, thinking and you know line of thinking and he is he's trying to kind of compromise and all that and I definitely called that he was gonna you know confess to Tom that you know he he kissed um, Star but I also definitely think that they haven't really confronted the the situation uh, between them I mean uh, Marco and Star because uh, they kind of like essentially avoided it and you know it's never really been a, a point where you know they, they decide to confront it I, I, I don't think it's healthy because like even in, in the first part like they, they hugged it out and I'm like that's a little weird because you know tension is high like I mean there's always gonna be a lot of tension especially since you know your best friends and one told the other that they like them so you know that there's always gonna be like hmm you know um, but I, I still enjoyed the first part nonetheless I mean like the the, the dad uh, King Butterfly is just <laughs> This is super crazy and, and it's very very fitting that you know he would um, take charge and like try to go after Meteora himself but also at the same time he's he's not really that powerful so he, it ends up in a in a you know in a wrong position for the, all of them. Um, I also do really like that uh, at least one of my predictions was right. Or two actually, because I predicted that um, uh, Meteora would destroy the castle as well. She, although she didn't really destroy the Magic Council, I thought that you know the Magic Council would have a bigger role as well, but it didn't. And I, I think I, I think they just wanted to keep it in between, like all, like there. Um, and I mean that as in like they wanted to keep it tight knit like they wanted to just have 
the B team, which is Marco and them trying to, to stop them, the A team, which is Star, essentially trying to find her mom, uh, not being able to find the mom, and now we are left wondering what happened to the mother because the unicorn zapped her somewhere else, you know, uh, we never know where. Uh, perhaps it's to stop um, Eclipsa from freeing her husband. Uh, we won't know until you know the the plot unfolds and everything. Uh, Star gave up her wand, which is not really that big because she still has powers. So I don't I don't know um, if that's going to be anything. Uh, but definitely I do know that you know the wand is now uh, fully kind of like dark magic magicalized because of Eclipse out again and that I thought she destroyed her daughter but of course you know I kind of knew deep down like she wouldn't do that uh, and instead you know she she, sh she shrunk I mean she reverted Meteora back to a baby so I, I definitely want to see how that outcome you know has consequences on the story overall because either they're going to use the this the plot device where she grows up and kind of remembers what happened previously and Eclipse has to kind of erase her memories or something else is gonna happen and then you know uh shit goes down or something like that but we'll we'll definitely have to find out um i also enjoy the fact that you know it's tom didn't really take it badly i mean like that that's a pet peeve as well but like i kind of enjoy it because you know they, they are teenagers so you know you'll never know if he has registered that or he's just wanting to avoid the problem so we'll definitely have to see that um i also like that the kingdom is actually basically dysfunctional without their their monarchy so it's, it's kind of like england in a way like i mean like they really love the the royalty to a point where like they treat and regard their kingdom uh, like uh, the monarchy is absolute or you know it, it's that kind of way I, I don't mean to demean uh, British people or whatever but it, it's that kind of way we, we in Malaysia have that as well but it's more dependent on the states like Johor is, is more kind of really really good with their king but um, you know in other states maybe not um, so overall like i would say like the f the first part was more frustrating for me in a way that you know like star had all these um had all these backup plans to remember but you know i, I guess in a way like the the world keeps absorbing you back in it but once you get like once you achieve your goal you should just default out of there like that's all i'm trying to say here um and the second part which is uh, the conqueror part is much better in the way that you know we fully expected but also we don't know how it's gonna happen um i don't really know if i'm right as well because like i i'm just thinking of the the second part of the episode right now and i i'm seeing that you know like um star technically gave up her power to kind of overpower Meteora so and that was something where I was like whoa like I didn't expect her to do that but that is fucking powerful um, and you know it's something where I'm like I would want to see what are the consequences to this because obviously all these things have consequences and I hope in the next season they do address what happened between uh, Marco and Star more proactively at least or try to in the first part of the episode because usually the first part of the episodes are again like for lack of a better word fluff episodes you know like just to kind of take the um, take their time to, to set up the next um, 
the next mind-boggling episode um, and that's kind of the formula with uh, Star vs. Formula right now uh, <laughs> Star vs. Force of Evil right now um, and the, the world in, in Star in, in the first part really reminded me of Steven Universe and I and I really enjoyed that um, and that imagery um, for me I definitely definitely s would say that I kind of miss the conventional villains that they used to have but like I mean I mean that in the best of ways and and, and not in the, like I want more Ludo or like I want more Toffee thing like I mean Meteora is a good villain but also she's very sympathetic same way with Ludo um, but I wanted to be I wanted to be more like uh, Toffee in a way because like Toffee had such a rich history with Queen Moon and also like he understands a lot of things because of their the past uh, meetings and everything so I want to know if there's more villains like him and that, that's what I mean to say like I miss the conventional uh, villains and also we, we are missing uh, Buff Rog but I think you know we won't see Puff Frog back until maybe middle of season four, but you know who's to say? Um, yeah, guys, it was it's a really crazy, crazy finale for for all of us, I think, and for me even even more so because I I really really enjoyed like some of the some of the lengths they took because. And a lot of shows, I I think they they kind of like step away from the creepy and the macabre. But I I do like you know a uh, children's TV show where they kind of know that it's it's macabre, but they know like you know children will understand that this is fiction, but also a cautionary uh, a cautionary tale to say like don't trust too much in other people or or uh, you know don't talk to strangers or you know don't don't see like I mean don't look for trouble and you know just be caution like just be cautious um, is all I'm saying uh, like the, the floating people are definitely from the new it uh, it 2017 because that is a really cool idea and I think they just wanted to, to implement that so um yeah that's about it i i i don't have anything much to to relay or to add on i i had more in the last episode because of how much i wanted to talk about the um, lead up to the finale but i think you know it's it's such an interesting thing to see the finale like take shape and kind of do it I don't think like it's really cool like I mean there were a, f a few like kind of like yeah there, it didn't mean to be there but it's all, all in all it's still kind of played into the world of Star Wars the Force of Evil which I think is quite important overall um, and there's still kind of like tongue-in-cheek jokes where you know it's gonna happen but like you just don't know how they're gonna do it so I, I still really enjoyed it anyway guys uh thank you guys so much for still being subscribed to me please remember to ring the bell for more notifications from me and also please stay subscribed to me because uh next saturday i'm gonna probably do the everything in between for for gotham i'm caught up on gotham but i don't think gotham is over yet so i i may get back to to reacting to gotham on saturdays um uh maybe i'll i will instead of reacting to gotham on on saturday i'll probably do breaking bad instead because since a lot of people want me to react to uh breaking bad i will try to get back into that um but i just feel like breaking bad season two was kind of i is kind of you know slow in the first part maybe is it's, it's it's been a long time so you know i don't i don't remember much anyway um uh, i really tend to ramble so um what else uh yeah so there's nothing much for me to say except to see you guys in the next video uh most probably next saturday as well because i usually do this on saturdays right now 
especially because of, of uh, Star vs. Wars Evil. Technically, it's a Sunday for me, but you know, I'm I, I can do. I mean, you know, depends. Um, anyway, uh, I will see you guys um, in the next video, most probably next week. And uh, again. Thank you guys so much for still being subscribed to me. And remember, if you want to see the full reaction, go to the links below. Episode 20 will be up, and episode 21 will be up. Um, if you want to support me even more, go to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Walter, all caps. Um, and yeah, just leave a like if you like this video. If you want to request any reaction go ahead comment below if you want to say i'm stupid go ahead put it in the comments below if you want to say how epic this finale was go ahead tell me in the comments below if you want to point out anything i missed out on or points i missed out on please give them in the comments below if you just want to say hi to me go ahead put it in the comments below um and yeah i will see you again in the next See you then.